there's a considerable amount that needs to be done after Paris. Paris is the beginning of the next phase of our work. We have to decarbonize the global economy during the course of this century. The business sector needs to understand two things. One, this is an amazing opportunity. We have the biggest opportunity to connect together technical development with industrial output and wealth creation through this transition to a low-carbon economy. The business community making these commitments has a very clear signal for governments. Governments need to understand the importance of regulatory systems that will drive this new clean energy economy through. We need processes, multiple processes, where best practice in one company, in one country, in one state can be demonstrated to other companies, states and countries. The exchange of best practice is the best way to go, go forward in time. Business needs to understand the message from the governor of the Bank of England, Mike Carney, who said every investment that is made now needs to be future-proofed investment. We cannot go on investing in the old fossil fuel technologies when those technologies will no longer be available to play into the future. In the margins of Paris, a critically important agreement was reached called Mission Innovation, in which 20 countries agreed to come together and collaborate on doubling a big surge, doubling their publicly funded research, development and demonstration into new clean energy technologies. That also represents a big opportunity for the private sector.